opinions. Some people may appreciate them, but in the years of the 21st century, uh, opinions have really lost the meaning that they were originally intended. Since people used to see uh, that opinions were something that they can appreciate, but now people are seeing them as something that needs to be challenged. Take my review of the famous Beatles album, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, that I uploaded actually a year ago today. Now, I pride myself in knowing that uh, I made possibly the only negative review of Sgt. Pepper's on the entire face of the earth. And I'm kind of proud of that because, you know, it's good to have some difference every once in a while. But some people don't really see it that way. They just see my opinion as something to challenge and see how I'm immediately wrong because I refuse to agree with other people. And even today, I get comments on that video talking about how wrong I am, so let's take a read. Bill Austin says, Wow, okay, so we are all entitled to our opinion, but this is just sad. Definitely not subbing to this. First of all, I'd like to congratulate you on your proper usage of the word definitely instead of defiantly. It's a big problem on the internet. Uh, also, I wish I could say that I cared. Let's read another. Revolver 1966 says, Sgt. Pepper is amazing. I don't know what you're talking about. It changed the face of music. If you get a good turntable instead of a crappy Crosley, then you'll understand the genius of the Sgt. Pepper and how amazing it sounds. Now, I have to deduct points from your usage of the word your. Uh, and I also like to point out that your profile picture and name mentions Revolver, but you, and I quote, love Sgt. Pepper more than Revolver. Uh, this is in reference to me saying that Revolver was really the big change in music and the big turning point in the Beatles' career. That's just my own opinion, though. And let's try for one more. Mark Gamba says, First get a real stereo system, turntable, and cartridges, and add decent speakers. Maybe then you will understand what people hear and understand about a concept album. Sgt. Pepper's a concept album? I thought I understood the history of the album quite well, but clearly I don't. Let's take a look. Blah, 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 success, success, success. Album representing a performance of the Sgt. Pepper Band. Okay, so it is a concept album. But that aside, one trend that I've noticed with these comments is that bad turntable equals misunderstanding of a supposedly good album, but good turntable equals masterpiece? I mean, Here's where I get back to my original point. Opinions. I've listened to Sgt. Pepper twice now. Uh, once for the review last year, and then I recently listened to it again to see if uh, a good turntable actually means that I understand that this album is a masterpiece. And uh, my opinion has changed. I actually hate the album more now than I already did. But I honestly don't think that the idea of a concept album was not perfected until, say, Tommy, which was by The Who in 1969. This came two years before that, so I don't really think the idea of the concept album was really perfected until Tommy came around. Second of all, I don't really consider this as a rock album. It's totally Baroque and pop and psychedelic and stuff, but this is very far from a rock album. Should the opening uh, track in its reprise near the end. Yes, that is rock, but the rest of it is baroque garbage. Honestly, it's gotten to the point that after listening to this for a second time, I was willing to give it a chance. Uh, my favorite tracks on this album are still When I'm 64 and Lovely Rita, but other than that, I do not want to listen to this album ever again. If I were to tell you what an album was that changed the face of music, I wouldn't give you this. I would give you Revolver and I would also give you Pet Sounds because while those both came out in the same year, they both also gave a new idea to rock music. They gave the idea that the whole album as a whole is not just a bunch of singles. And while you could say that that idea was introduced in the Rubber Soul album, it certainly was a dried up idea that was put into this album. And the idea of a concept album, in my opinion, was not perfected until The Who released Tommy 1969. But this is all my opinion, uh, so you can, Believe me, if you want to, you can take my opinion and see 
uh, between the lines of that. Or you can just blatantly ignore my opinion and say how I'm wrong, even though I did exactly what people told me to do. Get a turn, get a better turntable, get better speakers, sit down and actually listen to it. I'm David Bell. Screw Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band.